Everybody has been talking about Cardi B divorce and offset. They have made speculations, accusations, but she has finally made a public statement. She decided to go black screen, how we do it down here on YouTube sometimes. She said she was looking terrible. So I decided to give you some visuals along with the audio. Check it out. I want you guys to see me because I look crazy. I look like a crazy, crazy, crazy bitch right now. I look like a crazy motherfucking bitch. Hey, guys. Um, so I want to let you guys, uh, first of all, I can't see no comments. Do I got to get off this shit so I can see comments? Oh, no, I can see it. Hey, guys. So I hope you guys are enjoying uh, the new song with Anita featuring me and... Um, Featuring me and uh, Mike Towers and stuff. Uh, I really like this song. When I got when I first got this song, you know, I always wanted to do like a funk song with Anita. But uh, this song, I just felt like I kept like playing it, playing it in my head. Like I keep saying, Tra, dun, 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 dun. Like I, that shit just kept playing in my head. And I'm like, you know what? If... If I keep replaying this shit in my head for two days straight, I just need to hop on this song. You know what I'm saying? So I hop on this song. I did the video. Uh, when I saw, and what sold me was the the music video as well. The music video is just gorgeous and it's beautiful. So I hope you guys like that song. <clears throat> I really like the funk beat that it have. And, um... Uh, I want to tell people also as well because I've been seeing that it's like, oh, why is it when I do like hit? You know what? I'm not even going to talk about it. People could just suck my dick about that. Like, whatever. Another thing I want to say is, right? Because I've been seeing a lot of people talking. First of all, no, I want to say this first, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I get nervous when I get on live. Um, I've been seeing all the love. And prayers and everything that you guys been sending me. And I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you so much. However, like, I don't really need it. Like, I'm okay. Uh, I want to let y'all know I have not... I'm stressed out. I'm sad because I don't like that type of shit. This time, I wasn't crying. You want to know why? Because it wasn't... The reason my, of my divorce is not because of none of that shit that ever happened before. It's not because of cheating. I'm seeing people like, oh, he has a baby on the way. That's a whole fucking complete lie. This is like the second time that people's trying to pin babies over here. No, that's bullshit. Um, I just, I just, got, I just got tired of fucking arguing. Before, it, when when you feel like it's just not the same anymore, before you actually get cheated on, I'd rather just leave. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm tired of people saying that I'm paying blogs. One, another thing, I'm not, I don't, just because I get along with bloggers and the bloggers that I get along with, if they ask me a question, because there has been so much rumors going around, why is the reason? If they ask me a question and I answer them, that's not them paying. That, that's not me paying them. I'm giving them an honest answer. So they're going to tell their platform the answer. I'm tired of people saying, oh, sources, sources said this, sources close to Cardi, close, sources close to Offset. That is a lie. Because why have these sources didn't say nothing a couple of days before I wanted to get a divorce? Now y'all want to say something after it comes out. That's not true. And another thing is, I don't talk to people. I'm only, I'm only, I'm only, I'm only around my family. I don't talk, I don't talk to people from my label unless it's about music. And I don't talk to none of the people that I work with unless it's about a project that I'm about to do. So stop with the bullshit that sources told you. Yeah, there is no fucking sources. Because where were the sources before the shit hit the, the thing? And another thing that I want to say is... Because a lot of people saying that I got a divorce for clout because um, one, one time I did an interview and I said that my, that my album is going to have some lemonade moments. I didn't say my album was going to be like lemonade. I said it's going to have lemonade moments. Of course, like, like for example, uh, be careful, ring, and uh, be careful, ring, and 
through your phone, right? Those are relationship songs. So, of course, I'm going to have relationship songs on my album. My album is not going to be about only relationships. I'm a hip-hop artist. I, I talk about, like, I, I'm not an R&B artist. I'm a hip-hop artist. And on top of that, the same interviews that y'all got that from is the same interviews where I said I don't have an album coming out anytime soon. I don't have an album coming out anytime soon. And I'm very indecisive of my next single. So is I'm not doing it for no clout. And on top of that, I don't need stunts. I don't need drama to sell music. Right now, my song WAP is number one in the U.S. And it's number one worldwide. And I'm not trying to brag. But don't ever say that I'm doing anything for clout because I'm going to drop something. Fuck out of here. My first, my first album is three times platinum. And I ain't needed no fucking stunts to do that. This song, my, my, my fucking... Uh, a single right now is number one worldwide. Why would I need? Why would I need uh, something personal to sell my next anything that I'm dropping? I don't. I don't need that. I don't need stunts. I don't need stunts, and I don't need any stunts that comes to family to sell anything. So don't ever play yourself. I don't understand why people um want want the the. The reason for the divorce to be something so, so bad is it's not nothing, nothing crazy out of this world happened. Sometimes people really do fucking grow apart. I've been with this man for four years. I've been, I have a kid with this man. I have a household with this man. Sometimes you just want, you just, you just tired of the, uh, of, of, of the arguments, of the buildups. You get tired sometimes. And before something bad happens, before you get left, before you get cheated on, you sometimes you just want to leave. What is so bad about that? Why y'all want it to be a baby? Why y'all want it to be, oh, he cheated again? Why? Like, it's like you, you're not in a relationship. You don't know how a relationship go. Y'all want, want me to get cheated on 15 times before I leave? You want this nigga to have a kid before I leave? It doesn't, it, it, no. Sometimes you want to stop it before it gets to that. <laughs> so stop bringing up these fake rumors. Um, uh, there has been a lot of people with fake text messages, with fake bullshit. I'm sure. Like, there would have been something out now. No, just leave it. I just want to be. I just want to be a free birdie. Okay. Stop. I just want to be a free bird. <laughs> um, so when people, so stop with the shit that I pay. I never, let me tell you something. I have never paid bloggers. I never paid bloggers. I never paid somebody. And they ask me if it's true or not. I'm going to answer them. That's not me paying them. If I get along with certain ones, I might get more personal with them. I might have conversations with them. Doesn't mean that I'm paying them. That's not pain. That's not me trying to persuade the narrative. Some like it's like that's and then the audacity of some people trying to say that I do it in for clout. What I need bitch, I am the fucking clout. I never needed anything. I never needed no stunts to sell shit. I got the number one song right now. The number one song right now. Why would I need anything to sell my next record or my next album? First of all, I'm not even putting... I don't even know where I'm going to put out my next single. Because like I said, I've been very indecisive. And this so good. That means that my second single got to be even better. So I'm very indecisive about that. Of course, um, my music videos... My music videos and the creative of my music videos, it doesn't take two, three days. It takes a month, maybe three weeks, so it could get done to perfection. So I don't need it for that. Uh, y'all wanna y'all wanna take that narrative like, oh, she's having a lemonade album. I'm not having a lemonade album. I have like two, three songs. That it's like about relationship. That's why people be like, you know, I'm gonna have my lemonade moments, but I'm not having. Like, come on now. I'm a, I'm a, I, I like, I, I gotta, I, I cannot have a whole rap album about a relationship. Like, 
stop it. I'm going to have two, three songs, but not that. And I'm not dropping my album anytime soon. I want to drop my album when it's time to tour. I want to drop my album when I can sit down with people and do interviews. I don't want to do... If you imagine me doing album runs and I got to do it through a fucking... I got to do my, my interviews through a, a computer. No, I want to sit down with people. So, no. Don't ever play yourself that I'm doing shit for stunts. I never, I never needed stunts to sell shit. Um, that is all. Don't play with her. Play with them. And... You know, I've been, I've been really, I've been really, 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 really busy because I've been focusing a lot on my business. I'm about to start branching off on new businesses when it comes for myself. And I'm also, um, and I'm also, am in, am in charge. Well, me and Offset, of course. Um, we have, we are doing businesses for culture. So I'm working really hard every single day. I'm waking up very early, doing a hundred Zoom meetings, fucking coming up with millions of ideas, writing it down because I'm going to start doing things for 2021 and they need to be perfect. One thing I don't like, I don't like selling bullshit, especially when it's going to be mine or my child's. So... I don't know, like, my mind is just always on 100 because not only do I got to focus on music, I got to focus on other businesses because I, I really want to be, I want to become a billionaire. Like, if I could, I would, and that's in my head, and I know I can. So I'm really right now just focusing on work, focusing on everything. And like I said, I'm very indecisive about my next single I stress myself out a lot because everything just got to be super amazing. People always want to put me down for my work. People always want to make an excuse for my work. So I always got to like do the most when it comes to my work. Like not the most, but like just make it make sure that it's amazing. So that's just really what I'm focusing on right now. I want to say thank you to everybody that been showing me love. I'm, I'm okay. Okay. I'm I'm really okay. I'm I'm great. I'm okay. I'm not down. I'm not devastated. I'm not hurt. I'm just I just I don't know. I just need I just need something. I just need freshmen. I I don't know. I just I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I need. I'm crazy. I'm a crazy bitch. I need maybe I need to start smoking weed again. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Okay? very terrible morning because my daughter was behaving very fucking bad today did not wanted to go downstairs to the basement to her teacher she was just being bad and um that really pissed me off this morning because i had to do so much calls but i couldn't because somebody was just being bad bad as hell i don't know uh, these these kids shit <laughs> so yeah if y'all want to know a little bit about my morning, how it went, that's how it went. I wake, I woke up today. I woke up at 9.30 to get this girl ready. And it was just a, it was just a terrible nightmare. Mind you, I was extremely sleepy because I, I fell asleep yesterday like at 3 a.m. watching Harem. So, yeah, just terrible morning, terrible morning. <laughs> it was just terrible. Like, it was just a terrible morning. Like, right now, she's sleeping cause after she gave me a hard-ass time being mean to me, mean as fuck to her teacher. I couldn't even leave her alone with my, with my niece and the teacher because she was just being so bad. So, I had to literally be in her class section. Well, anyways, guys, goodbye.
it is really sad to see that their marriage has come down to this. However, I must say that I think Cardi B is doing the right thing. As a woman myself, I believe in black love. I think it is the most beautiful thing on this earth, okay? However, there are several different type of women that I do not like. And a weak bitch, I cannot stand. So I'm so glad that she is doing the right thing for herself and her daughter and moving forward. However, I will give you a throwback when Offset had proposed to her. But the truth was he had already previously proposed to her and he redid this for the public. It was such a beautiful moment. And it's unfortunate that everything has finally... <laughs>